Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review of the game Suburbia by Bezier Games. We're also talking a little bit about the expansions. Uh, this game plays one to four players, takes roughly 90 minutes to play, and it's for ages 14 and up. And for ages, uh, yeah, we just 14 and <laughs> up. In the game, you're basically going to be building a Suburbia. You're going to do a little town builder of sorts, the Sim City style game in which you're going to be gathering tiles and placing them down at a cost to gain benefit. And the benefit is going to be victory points. I'll place one down, she'll place one down, we'll go back and forth building our cities, and they'll expand as yep. you go throughout the game. One unique aspect is each player is building their own borough in the city, so combined we're all creating the city, and some of the tiles interact with the other players' tiles as well. And you'll just keep going up until the point in which the game ends, in which all the tiles have been played down. There's objectives you'll need to gather and score as many points as possible, and whoever gets the most points is the winner. It's a pretty simple, straightforward game with a lot of extra content, including a fifth player for the expansion if you want that additional fifth player in the game. All right, let's go ahead and show you what comes in the game. Welcome to the game Suburbia, and here we have it set up for one player. Let's talk about what you get in the game. First of all, tiles. For the base game, you're going to get this whole thing here, and of course there's an extra little stash of them over here. There's goals as well for end game scoring, and then you're going to get a, another stack if you bought the expansion over here. This is all the expansion tiles and expansion goals, and more expansion tiles here. These are player reference boards. This is the basically the pool or supply board, where you're going to be buying different tiles. They're going to be provided down here on the market, and then you're also going to have end of game scoring based on the number of players. Uh, you want to set up a certain amount of tiles and a certain letter. There's A's, B's, and C's, and on the board here it will tell you how many go there. And then for the C pile, you're going to actually stash a, a one more round tile to go somewhere in the bottom of the stack here, because the game ends when that tile gets flipped over after one more round. Everybody's going to get a player board. I just went and stacked all of them on top of each other, and as you can see, they can go back or, or front. They flip over, so it's easy for you to kind of decide how you want to play the game. Uh, you're going to get a certain number of reputation and income, and you'll start on the little arrows here. You'll get these times two markers, three of them, and you get 10 bucks and three of the base tiles here, the suburbs, the community park, and the heavy factory. After you've got that, the game is fully set up, and you do the same thing for all the rest of the players, and then give the first player marker to, of course, uh, the first player in the game. Then to start the game, you'll place out in the market tiles you'll always start with the a and go through to the b i think we didn't have after you run out of the a you'll go to the b tile so the farthest tiles here are always cheaper but you can if you want one of the tiles farther down along the line pay extra and that's in addition to the cost on the tile itself when you purchase a tile you'll pay the money pull it up here place it onto your burrow making sure to then calculate based on what's going to be going up and what's going to be going down for each of your income and reputation based not only on this tile but also on any surrounding tiles or any tiles in other burrows if it the tile describes that other options you can do are choosing one of the base amount tiles here to add they're the, just the same ones that you start out with and those you can add until they run out or you can also double your investment in a certain tile and pay that tile's cost again to score it again so you have a limited number of these of course and as you are adjusting your reputation and income you'll also be adjusting your reputation on the reputation tracker right here so this will be going up and as you pass the red bars, you'll be paying for that additional population by going down one on each of the income and reputation trackers. That'll end your turn. Next player goes, or you fill up the, <laughs> the market board. Next player goes and um, then keep pl playing until you run out and get to that uh, one more round tile at the end there. And that's basically how you play the game. Rather simple, going back and forth, buying tiles, flipping them over and placing them on the spaces that are presented to you on your player board area, scoring them with, with your reputation, uh, uh, your victory points, and then moving your reputation and income down, uh, trying to gather more income because uh, during your turn, you're going to be gathering income uh, based on the amount of income you have here. And it's limited to 15, uh, As and, and reputation has its own rewards as well. Uh, and that's basically the idea of the game, scoring more 
more income lets you buy better tiles and reputation is going to let you score more points and overall whoever gets the end of this track here or the highest amount at the end of the game is the winner of the game suburbia in addition to your bonus tiles that's yeah. right and you'll get yep. a bonus secret bonus or secret bonus as well for your player at the end of the game too and if you can score that you'll score points as well I actually learned how to play Suburbia through the app, which I played on my phone, which is nice because when you are making the decisions of which tile to play, it sort of automatically does a lot of the mathematical computation for you and gives you sort of the, if it's something that you can't actually do, it won't let you do it, right? So it's an easy way to uh, learn the rules for this game because there is a little bit of computation involved, which I think is the the biggest drawback I had to playing the board game version. You got the game. app actually when we went down to Arizona. So on a long car ride, she played Suburbia <laughs> the app. And I believe it was free at the time. And, it's, and yes. Ferdinand played it as well. So I think yeah, it is we were also... Yeah, we able to play together, pass the device and play together, which was cool. So there's multiple ways to play this game or learn this game. So it is a remote option as well with the app. Link in the description okay. if you want the app. We'll go yeah. ahead and post that down as well. Uh, as for the basic board game, I've never played the app personally. She started off with the app, so she was actually the one who taught me how to play Suburbia. Uh, but this one here is very similar to the app, but uh, minus all the computations done for you. This actually, you need to put up and set up the board. You need to realize what you can and cannot play and how you can play certain things and what's going to score you more points. Yeah. You have uh, to remember all of the combos that you're going to get with each tile. Because each tile is actually going to say like you'll get these points if it's uh, surrounded or if it's just on your board or if it's on everybody's board yeah. and so you're gonna have to try and keep track of that whenever somebody plays something you'll also need to respond with playing something like that and just because of that there's a little bit more computation involved mentally and for me i'm terrible at that kind of thing uh and it was it was a little more detrimental however the if game you itself like that if you like the puzzly aspect of okay i can get a bunch of points no one sees that they have a bunch of airports, they have a bunch of airports, I'm going to play some airports and take advantage of all of those <laughs> out there. Yeah, if there's five fun. airports down and yeah. you find one and you put it down, you're going to get a boatload of points, one va one one cost for a <laughs> larger value, which is really cool. And it's nifty because it has a lot of strategical context as well. Uh, the game's quality of components. First of all, the game has game trays, solid choice there, as well as, of course, it's got a beautiful set of tiles, very, very colorful and thick, high quality all the boards are high quality as well they're very thick and they both have double sides which is nice in fact most of everything in this game is double sided for ease of play whether you're playing uh, going across the uh, what do you call it, the point track in a zigzag pattern or a snake mm -hmm. pattern or if you're, or if you're just going like this uh, so even though right. you need a large table has a large table present you can kind of arrange the play area the way that you want to which for which is great for that flexibility because you do need a larger space to play but depending on you know the dimensions of your table you can kind of arrange it in the way that makes sense for you which is really nice another cool component aspect of the game is this tray here it's going to hold all of your uh, different types of money it's going to have your first player marker and for all of the players as well uh, the entire game and expansion fit inside the main box of the game which is nice so you can fit everything that's in suburbia by buying these two boxes and putting them all into one and they've also made space for all the expansions in the different pieces in the game trays, which is really cool as well. I really like the first player marker, which is the... the it's like a high tower. Yeah. <laughs> Very easily visible across the table. <laughs> all the expansions that it comes with is, well, uh, there's like nightlife, you have all the different conventions that it's going to come with, mm -hmm. uh, and most of them is just more of the same, but not all of them. Uh, some of them are going to include new areas in which you can build. Others are going to include, of course, the extra player and more money. New categories of places that you can combo together, which is nice. And how you combo with those in correlation to the original base game is mm -hmm. also something you take into consideration has a nice player reference board as well once you play the first couple rounds of the game you're going to understand how to play this game quite easily it's just more on the scale of uh, will you remember to do everything that you need to do based on what you played but otherwise if you can do so you're going to be rather good at this game for people who have a good memory who like strategy who like puzzles this is something i definitely strongly suggest taking a look at i think the artwork is excellent i think the quality is excellent and there are so many tiles when you have the expansion kit as well there's just so much 
to yeah. play and explore. We didn't, yeah, you, you don't even have to get into the expansion content on your first however many plays because there, there's a lot in the base game and then adding in the expansions just extends uh, the fun and life of the game. Even the base game alone, you will yeah. utilize just a portion of the tiles each game, regardless of the number of players. Yes, you do increase them, but uh, you're going to be constantly getting new sets of tiles. And then when you run out of playing those, maybe you want a little refresher or something new, you can add in mm -hmm. more additional tiles from any or all of the expansions. They can all play together. And of course, with that fifth player expansion, perhaps you need a fifth player to play the game, which is seldom needed for us, but a nice <laughs> little addition if there is that for time. The future. Yep. for post-pandemic time. That's true. And then, of course, the last thing I wanted to talk about was the, uh, the, the, at the end of the game, there's some additional scoring tiles here, and they give you a wide variety. These guys are called mm -hmm. goals. Uh, this one here, you need to have the lowest of a certain type of thing, whether it be uh, income or reputation. This one's reputation. You'll score 20 points up on the track. And there's open as well as secret goals, so you always have a chance to get at least one goal, which yep. is nice. <laughs> and of course, going up the track, too, as you score more points, it gets a little more challenging for you. There's a cost to scoring points and how mm -hmm. you choose to score those points and when you choose will kind of set you back so it gives people a little bit of a catch-up mechanic to kind of score ahead by waiting on those points until they need to like dump them down once i do like that time it so you're right behind the red bars where you're gonna have to pay for those extra population <laughs> so if you don't mind a game that's a little mathy and a little complex a little strategic as far as puzzly aspects go then suburbia is something you should take a look at this is a very extremely popular game this is the new version of the game the second edition plus the expansion and uh, it's, they did a really good job of this game. I think anybody who likes that type of game is going to be down for it and going to really, really enjoy this game. Agreed. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Suburbia by Bezier Games. If you're interested, there's a link down below in the description. You can pick the game up as well as the app. You can also go ahead and... Like this video. If you watched it all the way to the end, you might as well hit that like button as well as that subscribe button and bell notification to see more of our videos. We play games just like this one every week on our live stream at 6.30 p.m. PST on every platform, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So you can watch us play games like this one and join our family by joining us on Patreon and of course our Discord links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to building a suburbia with you next, next time. time.